and welcome to my first video for my new channel, Stew Pops Home Cooking, uh, Baking Channel. In this video, we are going to be doing a step-by-step -step guide into making a shepherd's pie. Now, I'm going to give you a bit of an introduction to what a shepherd's pie is, and also going to be showing you the ingredients you're going to need to make your own shepherd's pie. Now, a shepherd pie is basically a, a traditional uh, English dish. Um, consists of minced meat and potatoes, mashed potato. Um, you can add vegetables to that, and I add a special ingredient as well, which I will show. Will will be uh, letting out in 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 the ingredient part. And yeah, it's a very tasty dish. Um, can be enjoyed enjoyed by either a family or by yourself, and can be made into big portion. So you can save maybe for a little later, or you can make it into a small portion and you can have some now and, and, and enjoy it. It's you know, a nice tasty meal. And like I said, it's all, all, all the stuff you can buy from the supermarket. I'll put all the ingredients down in the description down below as well, uh, in simple terms. So then you can go ahead and, and buy that, uh, those ingredients and you know, make it yourself. As it's a very tasty, easy to do dish and it only takes about an hour. So, Great, so yeah, the video is going to be uh, probably about in two parts, maybe this part here will be the ingredients and the introduction, second part will be for uh, actual cooking, preparation cooking and finalising, so going to make it all uh, exciting I'm sure and, 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 and interesting, so if you wait there for one second I'm just going to go and get the ingredients and take you through what you're going to need to make a chef's pie. So, Stay tuned. And okay, so thank second. you very much for waiting there for a second. It only took you for a few seconds to uh, wait there for a second. <laughs> the magic power of editing, people. So I'm going to take you through the ingredients. I'm also going to put the ingredients on, like I said, on the description down below. So you can uh, follow along if you're going to do this yourself. Like I said, it's a very easy, very simple dish. So let's get going. So the first thing you're going to need, of course, to make a chef pie is your mincemeat. Now, you can get any type of minced meat. Um, you can get lamb mince, you can get turkey mince, um, you can obviously get minced beef, you get just plain mince itself. Um, I tend to use minced beef because it just gives a better flavour for the um, shepherd's pie and it's really, really good. Now, the next ingredient you're going to need, of course, is your potatoes. Your potatoes. Now, a big bag like this should, should do maybe two people easy. If you're going to do a big, big portion, say for a family size, you'll probably use all those potatoes there. But you've got a good size potatoes right there. So there we go. The next ingredient you're going to need is a Oxo cubes. Um, now, these are stock cubes, basically, beef stock cubes. And you can, you know, they, they just basically add flavour to the dish, so to the meat there as well. So, very, very good and very handy, so definitely need some of them. Now the next ingredient, vital ingredient, the special ingredient I add to mine is mint sauce. Now I put mint sauce in there because it just gives it an absolute beautiful flavour. Um, you know, it, it does really does give it some extra kind of uh, taste into, you know, what, what you're making. And really, really nice with, with uh, chef pie. The last ingredient, like I said, is very, very much up to you. You can put, you don't have to put this in there if you don't want to. But I tend to put some uh, vegetables in there. I'm going to use uh, today sliced carrots in this one. The reason being is because is that they sit basically between the meat and the potato, and when you mix it in, it's absolutely perfect for um, you know for flavour and for stuff. Like I said, you can add this if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to. So. That's basically the ingredients you need for your shepherd's pie, ladies and gentlemen. So if you bear with me for a moment, I'm going to go ahead and start the next part, which is going to be preparation, cooking, and fin fin finishing. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this first part. I hope you've enjoyed, and this has been you know you, you, if you are following along, then that's brilliant. And I hope to see you in the next part. So take care, everyone, and see you again soon.